morning. It's Gabriel, Sacred Awakens Radio. Well, uh, that's a new song, as uh, some of you may know. I, I like to intro with um, my two wolves song, Black and White Wolf. But this morning I woke up and uh, I'm neither. Um, so uh, a friend of mine, my spiritual guide, my guru, uh, well, he recorded that song. And, um, well, I'm honored to have him on air today to uh, say hello and uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Gabriel Rains, and I am the host of Sacred Awakens Radio, coming to you live from Houston, Texas at, well, Sacred Stone Studios, where all things are sacred. And without further ado, my co-host, Andy Wick, uh, John Wick of Spirituality is here, and uh, my partner, um, Jesus, well, hey, why don't you uh, say hi to the world. And uh, why don't you uh, kind of let us know who you are and why I invited you here and welcome my brother. Um, one love, man. How you doing? How you doing? Nice to meet you. I'm Jesus De La Cruz, uh, spiritual teacher and guy. I'm also a lead singer of Jesse and a Box of Chocolates. I kind of got like two entities. Um, the one entity is kind of more like a uh, mainstream for the world. You know, uh, and then the other one is the spirituality following. But uh, it's a it's a pleasure to be on here. So uh, tell me a little bit about you guys, if you don't mind, since it's my first time tuning in with you. Well, I'll let Andy go because um, I mean, you and I have worked together, and we'll go into that. But Andy, um, why don't you fill everybody in again who you are, why you're my co-host, and why we're here, brother? Cool. Uh, so I think the best way to really encapsulate who I am is I'll just say my purpose. So my purpose is to bring myself and Omega Point program to the world. Um, the Omega Point program was created by my father after 30 years, and I am a certified mentor in it. Um, my mission is to co-create healing, expansive, and purposeful communities within and without through integral listening, reflection, and as a shaman of the Phoenix. So what I do is uh, I have a gift for listening for reflecting so people can hear themselves and unlock and unleash themselves so we can all have a better purpose of a world. That's who I am. Oh, uh -huh. and uh -huh. as you know, um, I'm still redefining who I am because it seems to change daily, but I wouldn't be who I am today if it wasn't for the both of you. Um, so, you know, I, I awoke two years ago guys, just almost to the anniversary, my anniversary of being awoke or whatever, awake or who I am, um, started two years ago with DMT. And it's taken the better part of two years to gather my thoughts to realize who I am. And uh, Mr. Wick has helped in that process by uh, listening and guiding me back to myself. And uh, for those of you that don't know, hey, Seuss, well, he grounded me in a way that I can't really even explain, which I'm not going to try to today, but um, he walked me through all of my chakras and truly opening them mm. with breath work <laughs> for the first time where, and uh, bear with me, I'm going to try to, I don't know, the man told me how to breathe and I took some air and I grabbed my chakras with my uh, energy. Okay. Yeah. It, yeah. My yeah. inside. And we, I breathed and I don't know where it went. It went down into my root mm -hmm. chakras and some other places, but he grounded me in a way that I couldn't ground myself any longer because what I've found is the higher that we evolve through this frequency, the harder it is to actually ground. So taking off your shoes and walking in the park and smelling incense and doing all that sometimes isn't what it is. So as Andy said, he's the Phoenix. Well, I am the sun. And so I use the Phoenix energy, the sun energy to heal myself through sun gazing and through breath work, which Jesus go lead into kind of that a little bit. And you'll hear me talk a lot about the moon. So <laughs> that works out, man. So yeah. basically, man, I'm redefining things that that haven't been taught the way that I teach them. So I do a lot of combinations of things, but because I didn't have nobody teach me except my body. So what what I figured out how to do was how to become conscious with your body. 
Okay, mm-hmm. so meaning just like how we're having this conversation right now, you can actually have conversations with your body mm-hmm. once once you actually get the air into your body, it it awakens your DNA. And when it awakens your DNA, it starts to become conscious. So once it becomes conscious, you learn how to communicate through various different ways. But that's kind of how I learned these things. And some of the things that I've learned is like Tai Chi, where I didn't even know that we could just learn these things on our own. Where if I if I pause if I squeeze certain chakras, then my body will start working, right? And then I started doing vibration, which is kind of like Amazonian, kind of like the... So when you get into these chakras, they have sounds. So you can literally make every single sound in your body. Everything has a note, right? Mm. So... I teach it all together. So from yoga to, like I was saying, Tai Chi, Qigong, um, breath work to doing vibration. And then when you, when you mix it all together, once you get the hang of all of them, it'll, it'll, it can look kind of something like, I don't know how to explain it. That's why I show it because I call what I teach self, right? The reason I call it self is because you're, you're the teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not, not this, your conscious, not your brain, that that's what we all think of, that's who's in control, but that's not who's in control. You know, so basically, if I'm doing, say I'm breathing in through, we'll use my sacral, right? I'm breathing in, and then once I have vibration, then you start getting a sound. And once you start getting a sound, my body starts to turn on, and, and I'll start doing movements. So that's why it's, I combine all of these things. So I'll just give you a brief little little glance Just to, just to give you a little. Dope. Yeah, no, yeah, folks. So okay, so wait, 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 wait. Time out. Yeah. What, where were you focusing right there? Was that the sacral? Um, I started in my sacral, then I brought it up, brought it up to my solar plexus. Then once I got my hands involved, that's when you see me start moving them. That's mm-hmm. when I started using my heart chakra, and then the pitch alone was in my third eye. So now, fo- now folks, you can't see what he's doing. So let me just explain a couple of things real quick. You heard the noises, but he is actually physically grabbing this energy too outside of his body and using his hands, his breath and the vibration, all is one fail swoop. So, um, and it's hard for me to articulate that on the radio folks, and I don't want to interrupt him when he's doing it, but that's, that's what's happening is it's, it's all one movement internally and externally, correct? I mean, basically trying to give him a visual. It's like it's like using your different muscles as one to make one. You know how they say you know in the orchestra, one band, one sound. It's like that. I'm using all of these different chakras at the same time. You just start with one, then you expand, then you add the second one. But you got to be using the first one too, so that you're breathing from different places inside your body simultaneously, and every one of them has its own job. So that's why you start. You see me start with vibrating my hands or getting higher pitches or the pitch changes because it's getting deeper inside my body. Right. And when, when somebody comes to you for the first time, like I did, well, I don't even remember, man, you wiped my brain clean two hours. Well, what, I, what, you put me through some, the whole, all of it, but, and I, and I can do it now. You, we haven't been back to get, what was that? Three weeks ago, four weeks ago now. I yeah, don't even know. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Like, yeah and I, I do it. Yeah. And I do it now naturally. Right. I don't like you showed me that one time and now I'm all breathing in the bathroom, doing some stuff and don't even know. Well, a a big thing is is we're taught, we don't, we're not taught how to breathe. Right. Like just the fact that you tell people breathe in, breathe out. That's, that's wrong. (laughs) You breathe in until you run out of air. Okay. But what you don't have a grasp is why you ran out of air. That's because there's a blockage. Right. 
So you're running out of air technically. But what you're being showed is where you need to breathe into. So you figure out how to squeeze internally, open that, and then that air you just breathe in goes into a new part of your body. And then that's your exhale when the air goes into there. So you're not exhaling out your mouth. You're taking 100% of the air in versus some air. Now, right? folks. And then you just breathe in again. Now, you know? folks. I, like he's trying to explain this to you. So let me try to explain it because I did it and still can't really understand it. But I'm, listen, he had me breathe in and then I really thought that I couldn't take any more breath in. And then I pushed it the first time down into the lower chakra. Then he took another breath that I, and I did it again. And then I took another breath and did it again. And then I took one more breath and it came out my root chakra. And when I went to, I didn't need to breathe again, people. Do you understand me? There was no, ready? I was, there was no exhale. There was not an exhale for how long did we do that? I mean, yeah, yeah, I don't, that's, that's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know people. I never exhaled through my lungs. You, I can't really explain that, but it's like breathing <laughs> in. Right. And then we went through an hour and I'm like, Hey man, that, no breath came out my nose or my mouth. Where'd it go? You pushed it into your body. Yeah. Are you, are you sure? So then I had to look him up to see if he was even real, but, and if I did that, <laughs> Right, but it did. It happened, right? And and I and as I laugh right now, this is the type of things that we can do that we that people are like, well, that's magic. It, it's not. It's something that we were always able to do, but I happen to have fallen into a group of guys that are like, hey, I can teach you something, and I'm open-minded enough to try it. And now it it, it works, right? Guys, I mean I mean, I'm I'm healing people that they like I had just recently a girl She's only like 16. She wasn't even uh, in school anymore because she was in so much pain. She couldn't walk. She had a cane. Bro, she, she can run now. She can squat. And I've only worked with her two months. Like, she don't need her cane anymore. Like, I'm, I'm doing things that are supposedly not possible. Like, I want to I wanna work with somebody who's blind. I want to work with somebody who's paraplegic. Like, and I got, those, I got one who's paraplegic, and I'm getting feeling into his lower half and he said he hadn't had that in seven years since his accident right so i know i can do these things i was like i just need the the people to come like i'll fix you man just just come to me right up. I, yeah and and oddly enough what you know what amazes me is i'm i'm here in houston texas and i'm meeting people from all around the world that are my brothers as you can tell that i love dearly and this is what they're doing right? This is what Andy's doing. This is what you're doing. And we've all never met physically have, right? None of us. Nope. No, you know, so for all of you that are sitting at home right now, feeling alone and feeling lost and feeling isolated and everything else, it's just simply not true. You, you just simply have to breathe, right? Everything starts within you find your, 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 your Christ consciousness starts within and it's just a conscious decision you have to make to seek that and then once you really i think once you just ask for that it comes but when it comes and it's here people it taps you on the shoulder in a way that you will never ever 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 forget and it's different to all of us because it's unique it's it's unique it's all of the same source but the way that we awaken we all awaken to our unique individual awareness and then our strengths and our whatever come together and we find out that we are all one. uniquely different but we are all one and whole and the same and in, in love and connection yes right go yeah. ahead man. And I think, yeah. you know for me it's like it, it taps you from the inside yes once you allow the consciousness the tapping is different because it's from the inside it's it's yourself Right. It's you as the connection that you are to God and then the co-creation. And I, what I love about what you just said, too, is about how no one's alone. You know, I mean, you're all one. Mm -hmm. Alone is all one. You you are everything you'll ever need is everything inside of you. And right. embracing that, right, co-creating together, we can create a world that is beyond. I mean, I love everything Jesus is talking about. That is yeah. so fantastic. The the opening up of the channels, the energy centers, the the movement that's being created, that things that have life that were 
thought and believed, because what you believe will be reality. What they thought and believed is what their problem was or what their issue or who they were. Breathing life back into that and they're allowing that healing. I think that's so beautiful what you do, Jesus. So beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I appreciate it. Yeah, and I'm honored because, um, listen, everyone, uh, and, and if you're just joining us, this is Gabe. Uh, this is my co-host, Andy Wick, and uh, my good spiritual guide brother um, is with us as well, talking about how we can ground, how we can find ourselves, how we can use tools that are readily available that we forgot in, and that there are people like me, like Andy, like Jesus, that are here. And l l let me tell everyone also, the man didn't charge me anything, hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because like, he knew I needed help and he helped me. Um, and I met him on TikTok, uh, right? And let me bring that to the forefront. I stand with TikTok, I stand with China, I stand with anybody that's of love and light. And um, it's a platform where we come together as love and unity. And if anybody thinks it's anything other than that, you're sadly mistaken. Right. Because I found these two gentlemen through that platform and now they're on my show because we're all nervous that the platform we're using is going to be taken off and they can't take us off the airwaves. So that's my superpower <laughs> is that I was granted this show and I bring people together with love and, and, and conviction and we stand behind it. And I'm simply just trying to bring some tools that I found very valuable. And it all started with love because in the backyard, when I was finding myself, these two gentlemen allowed me to go through what I needed to go through. Even Jesus, when he went through this, the next day he's like, look, things could unravel quite fastly. And here we are five weeks later and my whole life has fall has come back together. Right. Jesus. I mean, I lost everything. You told me I was going to, and I was like, yeah, let whatever. Me, let, me, let me touch on that. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Okay. So a, a lot of what happens when we do align you, you're able to breathe from the head to toe. So what happens is, this is a thing that there is some people talking about it, but they don't really know how to do it, right? So it's it, everyone says do shadow work, right? But what shadow work really mm -hmm. is, when you get into these blockages, you open them, right? Mm -hmm. And when you open them, you get access to it could be a trauma from when you were a, in in grade school and you were just getting picked on one day that you didn't even realize that happened, and then you see it. Right, because you go in your DNA and then you're like, Oh shit, I didn't even know this happened. And then you, you gotta let that go. And then you start letting these things go. So what happens is then you become aligned, and when you're aligned with the universe, then all of these attachments that you had. So for example, if you had a toxic ex, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, so if you had a, you had oh, a toxic God. ex, um, maybe yeah. maybe a job that no longer serves you right or just all of these things that were killing you every day maybe your 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 view on where you should be in life right all of these things you hold on to you got to start letting go and then it feels like your world is crashing down on you but what you don't realize is it's you're letting go of what no longer serves you but now this brings you closer to your path right because now you're at the vibration to observe because the reason we're not able to observe is because we're always in our head on all of these attachments right and then you just you can't even just watch anymore because you're always thinking about the past or the future. So once you're able to be in the present, then all of these things start to come to you. You get a new job, you get a new woman, you, but you gotta be, you gotta, you gotta have your head up. You gotta be able to see these things coming to you. Right. So like it's, it's night and day, man, because <laughs> I'll scatter your world, but it's, it's for the better good. All right. So we well, can... it's, 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 you gotta be present. You got to be present for what's happening and not have the filters of the past or the projections of what you think your future is going to be. You take that all off. You're present. You're allowed, like you said, to witness and be a part of life. Yeah. And it, OK, let's go through my little thing. So when you came on board, we did a lot of searching for my higher self, did we not? Jesus? I mean, what did you say? It, it took us a while. This was not you had to do some work with me, did you not? Yeah. And just, just that alone is like because i don't have a teacher i don't know all these labels but we went through different lives 
but deeper and deeper, just like the breath work. We went deeper and deeper, placing past life after past life after past life until we got to, hey, this is the ancient soul right here. Ooh, it was this so and so, you know what I mean? But we're still not to my highest self, correct? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we got in there though. <laughs> we got deep, people. I want, listen, he can officially say, I do my shadow work, okay? Because when he said that, I didn't know what that meant. You can't run. You, I did, he did, I couldn't run. And so, conceptually, what happened? I mean, like the next day, I'm not kidding, I lost my job. I, I looked around and I was like, oh my goodness, wow, right? At least I warned you, you know what I mean? So that helped. <laughs> like, it didn't help much because <laughs> I still had to live it. But people, even when you know your future and you still live it, it's two different things to watch your future and live your future and then let go of your shadow. All right. So when we're talking about shadow work, a lot of people do think it's this little shadow and you're like, hey, I it's, it's, it's far greater than that. And I don't know that the shadow work ever stops. Ever, ever. I've been strong three years solid, like every day, and it don't stop. Right. It's it's interesting. I don't I don't I don't like the moniker shadow work. No, either. I, I shadow. What happens when you put light on a shadow? It goes away. It disappears. Yeah. So, but the deeper you go into your soul, like Jesus, you talk about going deeper and deeper. The deeper you go into your soul, and you shine light through your heart, through your spirit. And you go into those deep recesses, you're able to look at it. You can clean it up. You can find your lost parts. You can find your trauma. Look at that. And then as soon as you're able to get with that, either let it go or reframe it to be a part of you, let it change how it works with you. Come back it, through your heart and it burns brighter. And I think it, it's dark work. Dark right, work it, is different it, than shadow work. Yeah. And there I, we go. I, I talk about the, the darkness a lot um yeah let's go into that please so a lot of people have their opinion on what darkness is because what we've been taught right and if yep. you're, always, you're always told the devil is there you're not going to go check it out because you're scared right yeah they scare you in it but when you actually go into that darkness yeah you might find some demons you might find some whatever but they're you they're your demons yes we We've lived many lives over and over and over, and we've done some fucked up, or my bad, we've done some <laughs> bad things in these past lives because we lived in different times, right? And it was different. And when you don't let go of these things, you carry it into this life. So, like, when I tell you, I've seen some scary things. Like, I've been to hell, but I can walk in there now. Like, mm -hmm. like how John Wick went in there, or not John Wick, <laughs> Constantine. That's it, know, baby. Yeah, That's John Wick. <laughs> I play there. Yeah. You know, and, and Jesus, I want to go out uh, talk about <laughs> the darkness too. Without darkness, there is no light. So let's let's picture a flower. Okay. You look at a flower, a beautiful flower, a gorgeous flower, a healthy flower. You look at that, those petals, and what you're seeing is the light of that object. The thing about the light of that object and that plant is there's no way it's going to be that healthy and beautiful if the roots that are in the darkness are not incredibly strong and healthy you got a plant that's that's hurting that the spirit's not bright you pull that plant out you look at the roots like you were saying your demons whatever that it is you clean that off you put it back in you feed it again the darkness is where the light comes and burns through like the phoenix and what you were talking about about what you do and what you did with Gabe, and that how you will start losing things that no longer serve you you will you will burn down to the ash of yourself so that your paradigms and what you think is burned down and then you rise again. Yes. That's the whole point of the Phoenix. You burn everything you believe down and then you rise again. Or the resurrection, like how religion teaches you. Same All right. Thing. Yeah. About the same thing. Yes. Yeah. So what, so I guess what I just went through, let me tell you, when you think you're at your bottom, there's farther to go, right? There really is. And um, in losing everything, I've gained everything, right? Mm -hmm. So we, when, you, when I was going through this, I kept saying, I'm losing everything, I'm losing everything, I'm losing everything. And our words are our power. So in saying that, I was truly losing mm -hmm. everything. But now, 
what happened was I, I told everybody I had to break down. I didn't, I had to break through and mm. I've now gained everything. I've gained more wisdom and knowledge. I've gained insight. I've gained strength. I've gained stamina. I've looked in the mirror and yesterday for the first time, I viewed myself as the observer and it's an odd thing because as you're looking into the mirror, you're so used to looking at your reflection. Mm. You don't ever notice the background and what's there. Mm. And for the first time yesterday, I lived my life all day, not being the reflection of myself, but being the observer. And it almost feels out of body. As a matter of fact, it mm -hmm. is out of body. Mm -hmm. you, are a hover, you are hovering above yourself, okay, like here, and you are playing a video game that is in real person. I can't explain it any more than that, but it is an odd feeling to witness yourself being an avatar within a world with other avatar, ava I can't even speak, fellas, avatar. avatars. It's like you're doing <laughs> Sims. Yeah, like that, Sims. yeah, Sim City, but yeah. we're all the one, yeah. we're all the same. So when I walk up, I'm like, instead of saying Andy, I'm like, hi, brother, I love you because it's me. It's a reflection of me, mm -hmm. right? Um, and you're in a flow state, man. right, we're the colors of the rainbow, people, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. We're all the colors of the spectrum, all the colors we can see and everything we can't see, right? And if you look at the color of the spectrum, what's the color that is the most on there? It's dark. <laughs> right? It's all the things on the color that we can't see or that we're, hold on, that we're taught that we can't see, but that we actually can see when we open our eyes. Mm. And to me, what's awakening mean? It just means that my eyes are open right now. That's all it means. I'm no different than anybody else. You're going to get here, right? We're all here. And I still can't even fully see all the spectrum colors, right? They're being revealed to me each and every day. And so every day I wake up, why, why can I tell you that I'm on heaven on earth or that I'm in 5D, 6D, 7D, 8D or any D above 3D? Because of my perception, because of what I see, feel and know. And these gentlemen are seeing their lives through the same field of color, but interpreting it in vastly different ways. And when we come together, we realize that we're all trying to achieve the same thing, which is the inner light within and the love within and the unconditional love that is always there for everybody. And so when you wake up and you don't associate yourself with anything more than a being, you realize you love your enough, yourself enough to see the love in everything and everybody. Or for me, that's what I've awoken to. Well, it's like you said, dude, you lost everything to gain everything. You lost everything you thought was everything and you gained everything, which is truly you. Yes. Looking and in Jesus, the mirror. I'm sorry. I think I, I think I cut you off. Yeah, go ahead, buddy. Sorry. What was that? Oh, you got to let go of everything you think makes you who you are. Right. Because at the end of the day, um, I'll give you a brief breakdown of my life before I had my awakening. Right, so before my awakening, I was in the music industry, um, TV industry. Uh, I would do marketing for different, uh, every diff different markets, from modeling to TV shows to jingles, all of that stuff. Right, so I was, and I was a front man in a band. Right, so that was my life. But then I had was this awakening, and then I lost, not lost, but I let go of everything, all of that stuff, which was the house I had, uh, the girl that I was with, um, the kids, uh, cause I was raising her kids. I have one, but I was raising her kids too. Um, the job that I had, I let go of all of it. But, and I just had to, I just had this deep feeling that I had to go find this path that I don't mm -hmm. even know exist. I don't even know if it is there, but I found it. And then I found myself. So once I found myself, I started, I went through time. I went through time. This called a Kundalini awakening, but it was a spontaneous one. So it was hours. But I went, I seen when we were giants. I seen when we were fish. I seen when, how the universe was created, how it started with just thought. So I went from not being in this world at all, at all, to just, now I'm a spiritual teacher. I got 200 something students. Uh, but man, I don't, I don't have a teacher. 
Like, so I don't have the swag that everybody else does because I'm not all love and light. Like, no, I talk a lot about the darkness and how mm-hmm. that's, that's way more important than all the good shit. Like, that's that's the illusion. Brother, what I, th- what I think is awesome is that you're just, you're fucking, um, excuse me, sorry, but I'm just getting pumped <laughs> up. Uh, you could have so many bleeps. This is the most bleep yeah. show so far, hey, guys. Hey, Thank you. You know what? At the end of the day, man, I'm a human being, and this is <laughs> real. Like, <laughs> that is exciting. <laughs> getting into your emotions you're getting into that realness well because uh, I'm, I'm actually i'm getting into yours i'm I, i'm feeling you and yeah. what i think is so beautiful and I, and I love the passion behind it is when you really realize that when i know when i'm walking my path i don't have teachers in fact for two thousand years it's been specifically made that i wouldn't have teachers like this what I hear is you blazing your own path, and as you go, man, you know you're comfortable in the darkness, you're comfortable in the light, and you keep going. I love that, man. I honor that, and I celebrate and applaud you, man. That's beautiful to me. Yeah, and me thank as well. You. Yeah. Man, and the way that it comes through, man, let's go. Let's but isn't go. that right? But, I mean, the three of us, that's something that we all share, right? We all feel that... I mean, I'm with you. I don't like calling anything light, dark, whatever. But yeah, because of who we are and what we've been and what we've witnessed through all of our lifetimes, we have been in the deepest, darkest realms. And that's why we feel comfortable. I mean, I'm not afraid of anything at all. Oh, brother, I play in the dark, man. Yeah. I play in the dark. Right. I I got no issue with it. Now I know I'm like, I know why I'm a vampire. You want to suck everybody's blood? No, well, that's not what I said. I'm just of the dark, man. I mean, why you got to put that label on? <laughs> you know what I mean? Actually, it is, it, is, it is how you define yourself. If yeah. you say I'm a vampire, you do suck blood. So Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's just dark, so you know. Dark entity. Everybody, but, that. but can I, you know, and, and that brings, people put these labels on these things because that's what we were yeah. taught, right? So that's yes. what I'm saying. We're taught that, you know, that a vampire is this blood-sucking beast when it, it's not. I mean, there's energy vampires. There's, there's you know, but, it's... Go ahead. But see, the, the different aspect that I bring is, and I'm like, yeah, I am. I'm all of those. Yeah, and a werewolf too. I'm all of them. I'm the, I'm the, the murderer. I'm the mm-hmm. rapist, the child killer. Like, all of those things. We, we don't have those, and we don't have the opposite. We live right. in a world of duality. We need those, and unfortunately, we need those things. They need to exist so that we can get the outer joy. So like, even when I tell people, when you go down that deep hole and you go through your awakening, you're just planting your seed, right? You have all this bad that you went through, but guess what? In a world of duality, you're old, the good, you're old, that positive. So as you start to plant your seed at the bottom, you grow just as deep as mm-hmm. that hole is. Mm-hmm. Well, That's here and here's the thing, right? When you, embrace that you are everything that that is and you're all of those and you take out the definition that's when you get to choose which way you want to actually walk yeah Mm -hmm. so people when you look in the mirror you don't have anybody to blame but yourself right it's taking ownership Mm -hmm. so and that's the thing that's the thing that spirituality is it's very liberating but once you become liberated, then you have to take authority of your own self. And that means everything you've done in this lifetime and all others, mm-hmm. right? So what, what what they're saying is when you look in the mirror and you're like, the devil, the devil didn't make you do it. God didn't make you do it. Nobody made you do it. It's the person looking back at you that made you do it. And if you will just step back from the person that's looking back at you and become the thing behind it and not the mirror, that's when you evolve. Right. Mm. That's when we all evolve, when we take some personal accountability for the thoughts that are in our head. And we realize that the thoughts in our head does not make us who we are. They're simply thoughts that we can control, too, as well. Right. So once you become aware of your thoughts, if it's a if what if your soul perceives it to be negative, then you don't have to think it, whatever it may be. Right. So. In doing so, that personal accountability allows you the werenthal to look deep within and say, is this of me? And then once you decide, well, there's your decision. 
Well, and then it, once you have that awareness, man, forgive yourself. Yes, thank you. Forgive <laughs> yourself, man. Love yourself and accept it. That's it's okay. Ladies it's and okay. gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, as you listen to us right now, when's the last time you looked in the mirror and blew yourself a kiss? Yeah, right? Man. Or hugged yourself. yourself. You're gorgeous. Yeah. You're gorgeous. Or hugged yourself. It feels good. Yeah. It does. It feels good. It feels good. I mean, I hugged myself yesterday. Well, one, because I can, because I used to be so big, I couldn't wrap my arms around myself, which is another story. But today is I'm skinny. Man, I bear hugged myself and it felt amazing because I've never done it ever. Never. Right. And I'm like, and, and, and I looked in the mirror, I'm like, you know what, if I could just be as perfect as you, I'd marry you, right? I love you, right? I think that's beautiful, telling yourself that you would marry yourself. I would. That's I would do beautiful. it to heartbeat. I would today. Well, I think so many people are looking for that other person to complete them. They're it's like, you. All you got is you. Yeah. You complete you. What did Telly Savant? need a completion. Hey, I know y'all are all about the same age. I, for all y'all young folks, what did Telly Savalas used to say? Kojak. It's you, baby. <laughs> right? I love yeah. how you're asking young people to yeah. remember Kojak. I don't know. I know. I know. <laughs> Golly, I feel hey, hard. Hey, because I don't even know that. I'm like, I'm not. Oh, like, God. Saying, That's what I'm saying. People don't know. All right. Well, go look it up. Telly Savalas and Kojak. Who loves you, baby? Oh, gosh. Kojak. I'm old. I'm Kojak. old. Funny. That's what you said, Kojak. Kojak, man. I'm old. Starsky and Hutch, Kojak, man. It was before the Dukes of Hazard people, right? Okay. Starsky and Hutch were the original Dukes. Get it. Look it up. But yeah, we all, and then we, and, and we use these alter egos to get us through life, right? I mean, mm. you know, masks, masks, masks right? The, but, uh, go ahead. I would say, man, you just got to learn how to get wrapped up in yourself. So that you can escape the illusion, right? Or the matrix, yeah. right? It, the brother, can I bring that in? It's all the same thing, people, right? Some people are calling it the matrix. Some people are calling it spiritual growth. Somebody, look, all it is is that we are here to evolve. We are evolving, period, right? Whatever. Well, all it is is letting the paradigms and the bullshit you. you told yourself your whole life to burn away. Yeah, it's what you believe is your reality, and if you keep telling yourself, "Oh, this is what I am. This is who I am. This is what I'm about," you're gonna believe it. It's gonna be a reality. That's you are it. you are what you believe. Is that not right, gentlemen? Can we all agree on that? Damn right. You're Damn all, right. You are what you believe in. Right. Limitless. Yes. Now let me ask something too for everybody here, gentlemen. Do you watch the TV and get your news and do all that? I don't. I'm as shocked when the weather comes is when it comes because I haven't watched. The television and i don't know how long and the majority of the time i'm getting my information is off of TikTok or people flipping out and i'm like oh my gosh they're flipping out and then i go look i'm like holy cow now i'm scared and then i go back to them and say hey that's all fake don't worry about any of that bro i, mean, I turned off the news so long ago right what's my info shit i see it on TikTok because i'm not looking for it no hell no so all the your... shit all the shit is fear all the shit is oh my gosh we, Andy. this Run is right. how we divide you i want you to divide from this person and divide right. from this person what we're talking about right now is people coming together and creating community i'm I'm tired of being divided for no reason guys is there anything to be scared of at all and yeah i mean if we're gonna give something today right this morning i mean are you guys scared of nuclear war or alien invasion or the second coming of Christ or Armageddon or uh, no. anything? No. Uh, no. Even, even if something bad happens, I, to be honest, like it probably is for our better good, right? Because we humans, we're the most special species ever created, right? However you think we were made, I think we were created, right? So the reason is because every Every single thing that we think we can't get through, we come over. So we are evolution. So when, when they talk about Lucifer and all that shit, Lucifer had to stray away so that we could have all of these different fucking, uh, damn, these different, <laughs> yeah, these man. Different, oh, these, different, these different experiences, bro. Because that's how we evolve is going through hell and overcoming that. And then you get stronger. So like, Whatever happens, man, it's going to, we need it probably, man. Well, and you know, Lucifer, what he really does um, represent is a human experience. Why is it so wrong to be human? Right. Why is it so wrong to have love and passion and all of that? It doesn't, that doesn't make sense to me. 
no, especially me. if we were created that way. Yeah, no, me either. And it doesn't make sense to me that he's talked about so much in the Bible and that the main crux of the Bible talks about hell. I mean, you don't really have to read between the lines there, I don't think. I mean, or maybe you do. Bro, I, me and the church, like you and the government, and you've talked, me and the church, uh, we don't, we don't, we don't see eye to eye. I'm glad you brought that up. Let's talk about that. We got 15 minutes. Let's talk about the government. <laughs> I wasn't going to, but you brought it up. Okay, this is what I'll say about the government. This is all I'll say. All right. They're all two wings of the same bird. Thank you. Uh -huh. That's it. Yep. Okay. Yes. It's the same thing, people. It's right. Just where I stand with the government today, I've been quite vocal and quite angry, and I still am. But I'm going, at, I'm, I'm going with it a different approach, okay? Um, this past uh, four weeks, as those of you who don't know, I've been trying to pass a kidney stone. I literally thought I was, I mean, it, the worst pain of my life. As we're on air, I'm still worried that I'm going to do this, right? It's still stuck. But, but I have to deal with the Veterans Administration, and it's it's simply horrible. It's, 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 um, really, if I had to say anything, the one thing that is holding me, that tests me every day is the VA and its attempt to try to kill me all the time, right? And the government that I don't, I don't even think they attempt to kill you. I just think they just don't give a shit. They don't. Sorry. They, 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 I'm not going to, I'm not going to censor myself. The VA is gross. Yes, it's there, horrible. There is some, now, there's some good parts. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. But overall, the, the, the overall, it is ineffective. It is. To our and, veterans who have done and given their lives for safety and for our voices to be heard. Yes, and it's and, a micro, it's, it's a microcosm for the bigger, uh, what's wrong with the government um, today, all the government, right? It's, I wasn't going to go here. How in the world can Biden lead me? That man doesn't know what government is. He doesn't know what it's like to put your life on the line and go um, uh, be put into a war zone fighting for lies. He doesn't know what it is. Neither does him. Most military men right now, I'm, I hate to say this, people, but I'm going to speak for my ancestors. Y'all have no business leading me or anybody else into yeah. danger. Think he's in control. I don't think anybody. No, he's him. not. No, no, no. man. It's just it, oh, it's all okay. it's all a oh. show. So I'll be like, don't waste your energy having opinions on these people anyway, bro. Like, that's right. Well, it's 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 not. But um, I can I can I tell you something? Un fortunately, unfortunately, in the three D world, I'm a veteran, so I have to speak. Right. So I'm going to speak up for the ones that can't. Right. Well, dude, that's your attachment. Yeah. Worldly attachment. Yeah. I it get is. it. I it get is. It, I get it though. You know it what is. I mean? I get it. It, it is because a lot of my a lot of my fellow veterans aren't woke yet. And when I walk into the VA, they know that I'm not going to take anything. Right. And so I don't think we should have to be battling this. And that's, you know, today that's what I want to do. If world leaders want peace, come to us. Come to the show. Let's talk about peace. Because I don't want to fight because I stand with everybody. I stand with everyone that's of love and I stand against anything that's not love. And I know you three, two, know where that starts and who it starts with. So I, I call you out. Ready? I, I'll call you out. Come to the show. Let's talk about this love because you don't want to stand up against me, right? That's not what you want to do um, because you're not going to be victorious because I'm going to defeat you with love because you already put me through the war. And, I, and what people understand is my father was a veteran, my grandfather a veteran, my grandfather, a veteran, veteran, veteran. I'm, I've been in the military since the beginning of time. And I don't want to stand for it anymore. I'm, I'm a third party. I'm not. You don't want to stand. For, you want. To, you don't want to stand for what? I don't want to stand for fighting anymore. There's no reason to fight mm -hmm. when we can win the battles with love. If we, we if we would have replaced them for love in the first place, agreed. Then, then this evil, this whatever that we talk about wouldn't be necessary. And men on me on this planet well, wouldn't be Well, it goes right it. back to what, what Jesus actually taught was to turn your swords in for plowshares. Thank Put you. Put down our weapons and let's build community. Let's, let's build love. That original teaching. The wreath can either be used to cut the grass to sow the crop or the wreath can be used as an act of sure. death, right? 
Is, isn't that what the Green Reaper, the Grim Reaper has it, right? Yeah, the, the symbolism. Sickle. The sickle, mm -hmm. right? The wreath, the sickle, the wreath, the, the cutting, right, guys? I mean, it's symbolic for a reason because it wasn't always used to take lives. It was used to repurpose, mm -hmm. right? It would use to cut down the weeds of the land to grow the abundant Absolutely. seed, correct? To, to, feed, to feed everyone. Right. Yeah. Right. Not to take lives to prevent people from eating. Yeah. Right? A perspective. Hey, Susie, you look like you got something to say. Nah, man. My, I don't. What, I, man, I'm different. In right. Part, I don't. It's not that I don't care. Like, I could have a cause, right? I could all have all types of causes. Save yourself. Save yourself. Stop wasting your energy on anything but bettering you. Right, you need to escape 100%. all of these causes, all of these separations, yeah. these letters, people, like all of those, all of it, all of it, all of it, all of, like just go save yourself. Like mm -hmm. if something triggers you, instead of getting triggered, find out why that triggers you. Like, mm -hmm. save, point the finger at you every time and figure that out, and you're just gonna keep advancing and advancing because then you're gonna start not giving, a, you're not giving about nothing. You know what 100%. I mean? But it's gonna be a positive because you're gonna be stronger because you got a you got a stronger backbone, bro. Like you know what I mean? So that's I don't get caught up in too much of belief things because it just ends up to somebody being attached to something. Right. And the, the beautiful thing about what you just said too is that then you can love that other thing. Yeah. For helping you reflect within yourself what it is that part of you that needs to be healed and needs to be heard. Hundred percent. Yeah, love that. That's why your, that. your weaknesses are your strengths. Yes, sir. You yes, need sir. it. You need that adversity to build your character. Yeah, and that's why it's there, though, and it's also there to trigger you, for you to look at what it is that you need to let go of, to become even better version and even best version of yourself. Like if countries were people, wouldn't you say it's time America gets spanked on the butt? Yes. So, like, you really can't be mad at whatever comes, but you mm -hmm. got to accept it because we've been reaping the benefits for forever. Agreed. So Agreed. It, it comes back to, like, just because I don't do all of these things to make the place bad, I, I'm still proud to be here. Yeah, so kind of what he said, so let me just say that. As a veteran in the VA and everything, I do hate the VA, right? But I'm trying to make it, I'm trying to make it better when I'm there. I really do, <laughs> right? I'm trying to use my show to change it uh, through me, through my belief. But I'm going to pull America's pants down and let the enemy spank our ass if that's what. Ooh, now I'm getting excited, right? <laughs> Dad gummit. Because we do, right? We need to be brought down a notch. We're no greater than any other country. We're no better. We're no worse. We're no different. We're all the same, right? And if this World War Three if it brings us all back down to size, I'm okay with it. I, I'm, 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 matter of fact, bring it. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for us all to be equal and be seen as one. I, that's why this radio show, I bring on other people. I don't want to be the authority. I, I you just, know, I got, I, I got to say that I agree with Jesus, man. I, yeah. I really don't. Yeah. All of that is immaterial. Yeah. Just World be. Or three, whatever, whatever people. Whatever. What's material to me is when I meet with someone, mm -hmm. we connect. Yeah. When I hear myself, that's what's beautiful. Yeah, that's love. It. Like, you can get caught up in so many things and you miss what yeah, you, man. you don't get these experiences. These experiences is what I live for. These things right here, just these, this exchange and energies. To me, that's more important than what the world is going through because I, 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 un, Unfortunately, I'm not in a position to make a change quite there yet, so I'm not going to try. But when yeah, I'm but I, I, I'll call you out on that, Hazel. Me too. You are. Yeah, I'm making a change, and, and and it's like this is another thing, right? Going into communities that you may feel unwelcome, just by connecting to one person at a time, you can change the world. Oh, it I doesn't know. need to be. I need to talk to all the billions. <laughs> yeah, and we one got one person. We got six minutes. We got six minutes, Jesus, too. And I'm going to agree with him, too, because 
let, let me, let's, we got five minutes, so let me say this. Aren't we changing the world by coming together on a national radio platform by being present right now at 404? Hey, bro, if one person, if one person hears this and feels something about themselves, then yes, we're changing. Mm-hmm. Like It's that, that old uh, parable. So the guy's walking down in the ocean, right? And he's there with his son. And there's all these starfish. And he picks up one and he throws in the ocean. The son looks at him and goes, Dad, there's no way we can save them all. It's This doesn't matter. This doesn't matter what you're doing. And he goes, looks at his son and he goes, it matters to this one. If one person, one person hears this and gets come some kind of inspiration, reaches out to you, reaches out to Jesus, reaches out to me, to me, that's worth everything. I agree. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as like that, yeah, that's. To me, that's the best way to do this. Because another thing I also say is I teach people every first session we do is different than the next one because everyone has different blockages. But fortunately, yes. I'm at the vibration to just read your body like a like like a video game. Like it's super easy. I could just figure you out and then I just go through your DNA and then you got a custom plan for you. Right? That only it's perfect for you. I wouldn't teach it to nobody else. Right, because each individual's journey is their own. Yep. Yep. So we got four minutes. We got four minutes to wrap up, um, and we've covered a lot of ground. If we had one thing to say to everybody today about where they are as they listen to us right now, what is it? I got mine. Go for it, Andy. That you're perfectly imperfect. Yeah. Jesus? I would say stop putting so much pressure on yourself. Mm. Yeah. Just just, just breathe. Like, just breathe, man. And you know, I got a guy that told me a thing right now. Um, Maybe instead of rolling your stone up the mountain, Set your son aside, go to the top of a mountain, take a breath, and ask yourself why he you carried that stone so far up the mountain in the first place. Let go of your burdens. Let go of your burdens. Your perceived burdens. Mm-hmm. So I let go of my I let go of my fight with the VA today, folks. I let go of my fight with each and every one of you. I let go of my fight with everybody that is challenging me right now because Hey, wait, gay, before you uh, even move on. Go ahead. Say that. Say I heard what you say. I let go of my fight. Now mm-hmm. breathe into that. Breathe in. I let go of my fight. Close your eyes and breathe into it. I let go of my fight because I'm here with both of you and all of you to let you know we are all one. Mm-hmm. And letting go of my fight has been the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire existence because it's what I thought that I needed to do to get to where I am. And what today, as I speak to you, what I have realized is I'm here to love. Put my sword down because my truth is my sword. Our father is my shield. And I'm here to love. I'm here to find out what unconditional love is. Mm -hmm. And I'm here to be loved. I've always loved, but I've never given myself the capacity to be loved or love myself. And my name is Gay Brains and I love myself. And when you do that, you open up your capacity to love everything and everyone. And that's just my opinion. Well, the truth is when I do that, I give the capacity to love everyone. Thank you. I, uh, before we uh, get done with this, I want to tell people where to follow me at. Do it, please. You got a minute. Okay. Uh, you can, uh, My spiritual following on Facebook is Archaic Teachers of Anuna, A N U N N A. Um, on Instagram, you can find me at 8B underscore Jesus of the Cross. It's just my name in English, y'all. Um, on TikTok, you can find me at Jesus of the Cross BSM. Jesus of the Cross BSM. And uh, you can find me on all platforms for my music under 1017 Box of Chocolates. 
We're also the first band ever signed to 1017 Brick Squad. Um, but yeah. The, All right, guys. We got a minute left. Rock and roll. All right, y'all know where to find Andy. Andy and I are working on getting all this stuff on my website. Uh, Jesus will be on my website. All of my spiritual family, my healers, my guides, all going to be on my website. Um, Andy and I are going to be doing some great things. He's coming to Houston. We're going to get in depth about his program. Stay tuned. Um, The show has been kind of tracking this way, but we're all one. One love, right? I love each and every one of you. We're honored to come on the air with you and try to breathe life into us. So good morning, goodbye, and thanks for having us. We love you. Be blessed. Be the light. Have a freaking amazing day. Thank you. Bye-bye.